Hi all, welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods and today, if you noticed, that way, that way, that way, there we go, uh, this uh, Ecto-1 is off the shelf, so we are going to be doing stage 99 of build the Ecto-1 and I'm telling you now, there is a lot to do in this stage, um, when we did the right front door, um, this stage was broken up into two stages, but they put it into one stage on stage 99. Uh, so there is quite a bit to do in this one. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because we finally get to fit that right uh, rear door. So with all that said, let's get modelling. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. Like I said, we've got a lot to do. Um, right, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to install the handle for the wiper. Oh, no, sorry. We are going to uh, do the interior door handle. And that's just this piece here. That's fitted in there. And then we need to screw it in with a EP screw. You should see the, I mean, the amount of screws we've got for stage 99. We've got DMs, HMs, KMs, UMs, EP, IP and UP. So quite a few uh, screws. Okay, that's now in. Next, what we need to do is we are going to do the uh, window winder handle. And that's just going to simply pop into this hole. I'm going to turn it round. We've got like a half moon shaped cog that's going to fit only on one way. It's a little bit difficult. Let's try it the other way. Right. Locate that down as best you can. I think it's bound to start on the last door we did. Yeah, that's okay. See if I can get it down a little bit more. I don't want to break it. Okay, so we've done that and we need to put that in with a KM screw. I just couldn't believe it when I saw all the uh, screws that we had to do when I was getting this out of the packet. Okay, I'm just making sure that can do what it needs to do. Okay, so we've done that. Next is we have another cog. That's going to just slip in just between them. And that needs to be screwed in with yet a UP screw. Okay, that's now screwed into place. Next, what we need to do is I'm going to try and move that as best I can up. We need to put our sort of window in place. Now it's not saying if this, this is directional, so I presume it can just go on one way. And again, for that we need to secure that in with a UP screw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around that way because then the uh, the R is facing the correct way. And then it must be correct. Okay, that's secured in with the UP. I'm just, just a bit loose. Right, I'm happy with that. Okay, so turn the page of the magazine over. What we need to do next is we need the door. And we're literally going to feed this in. I think it was the right way around. So it should just nicely feed in, just like that. I'm just going to see if 
Right, so that is actually on the wrong way round. So we'll quickly fix that. So we'll just take this screw out, flip it over, and then put the screw back in. So I had it right in the first place. Okay, flip this over. And all that is down now, and you can see it's following a line, so make sure the R is uh, not facing you, it's the other way around. Okay, so next what we need to do, we need to screw the top holes in with some IP screws. So these up here. Here's the second one. Tighten this one up a little bit more. There we go. And then the bottom ones want to be DM screws. So one. Two of the DMs, a little bit of three in one oil, oh excuse me, Okay, now we've done that, we need to put some trim on. Now as far as I'm aware, these are all the same sizes. So it should go on. Let's try it this way around. Okay, that's on there nicely. And then we've got another piece just for down here. I do find these trims quite hard to work with because you don't want to snap them. But they are quite, they are quite flimsy. Right, now I don't want them to go in to either of these holes. I think we've got a, bit of a, a little bit of a blockage in this hole and this hole. What I'll do is I'll just get my knife. Try and clear what's... Okay, we think I've got a bit of... Alright, so that one's cleared. That one's not. I'm going to have to drill a little tiny hole in there um, to sort that out. Um, so what I'll do, I'll do that now and be right back. Okay, so I've got that in now, that strip. Uh, really needed to give that a good dr uh, drill out, but all I used is a uh, micro screwdriver, uh, drill bit and a drill vice thing. Right, okay. Right, so the next part, what we need to do is I'm just going to put this door to one side. This is where it's going to get tricky to record because I need to bring the Ecto one up. Here we go, and she comes. 
right yes really difficult and it asks us to take uh, the switch off the door switch that's labeled with an x which i've got there now this could be harder than it looks because this looks like it's upside down yes it is okay so we want switch we need to bend the wire and then it wants to switch why have I made it so difficult right okay you want the switch hmm You just uh yep like in there ah i see now they want the switch in there like that yeah i get it okay and then we've got if i just sorry it wants to be in there like there and then we've got like a little holder and that's gonna go on there like that and then this is where you need to be a contortionist you need to screw that in with two HM screws oh my word Just trying to get one on my screwdriver, let alone. Oh, no, that didn't want to go on. It's holding it in place. How you get the screw through the hole. I hope this is the last one we're going to do with this. Right, I feel that going down now. So that's the first one in. I haven't done it up tight because... Um, I want to just get this other one in. Because working directly under the camera is not always the best idea. Right, well that's going in. That's that one tightened. Okay, that's that in place. Wow. Uh, right, let me just lift this down up like this. That was not easy at all. Okay. Um just realised I missed a bit of a step out actually. Um we've got a very fiddly door lock put on the outside of here. Problem is this, it can only go in one way. And it doesn't want to be the way I want to do it. Right, so what I think we'll do is I'll get this door lock in, I'll reposition the cameras, and then we can carry on with this uh, Ecto-1 build. Okay guys, we're back. So what we need to do now, we've got this uh, sort of lock here. And we need to put that onto there. And we need to screw that in with... A DM screw. So I've got one of them loaded up on my screwdriver. And get that in place. Oh, 
Okay, that's nicely into place. Whoa. Right, okay. So next is we need to install the door that we've been working on. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to overhead camera. Okay, this is quite precarious. <laughs> and we're going to be fitting this uh, door. Now, I always find the best way to do it is it's in the clothes. But it lines up with the screws. Right, okay, this is not easy to film, such a big vehicle, and we need to screw the hinge in with some DM screws. So what I'm going to actually do is pop open the other side door and try and get the DM screws in. Like I did say, it, we, I knew this was going to be a big issue just by looking at it right so come on on the screwdriver and don't make my life even harder right well first one's in just want to get these initially started then what I can do is go in through side door right then just want to get them started okay and then I'm going to come through here a bit off camera through the side door and tighten these up and there we have perfectly functioning now and that is all there is to do in this issue whoa wow what an issue oh. so yeah we've uh managed finally managed to fit that last door uh we do have a door at the rear that we know we need to do but uh yeah i'm happy with that so that's issue 99 complete well, that's it for issue 99 of Build the Ecto-1 and in stage 100, I thought I'd just go through really quickly, we've got some more trim for the rear windows uh, to do next. Um, so, yeah, that was a quite nice uh, epic issue, getting that door finished. Uh, like I said, what we did in two issues uh, last time for the right front door, we've done it in one issue for this right door. So, oh well, it gives us something to do at the end of the day. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future issues. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.